Okay, so this college wine used to be the only entrance to the university, okay, before the building of old college. So uh, when you read, I mean, obviously this is a new building and so it's very, very much changed, but evidently there were gates here and then they led up, there was a, must have been a pathway leading uphill up onto, you know, the um, plateau effectively, you know, where old college now stands. And, and would therefore also have taken in part of Chambers Street, but that was before Chambers Street was built, as it were. Um, so you can see what I mean about once um, uh, Alexander Munro has moved in here, then rioting people have stuck out here. They can't get into the university, certainly can't get near his building. And so, and so that was why. Um, oops, we're blocking up the uh, pavement. Okay, so. Uh, now we can head towards, um, back towards home. Oh yeah, I, I'm not sure by the way whether this gate was there, still in operation when Burke and Her came, because in 1827, when they were, they were active between 27 and 29, the old college was open. But the story goes anyway that the first time they had a body, they took it to, into the university. And the student, presumably a medical student I suppose, told them that if they went to old surgeon's hall, they'd get a better price for it, you know. And in fact, I'm not even sure whether Munro, Alexander Munro, would have bought the body from them because, you know, he had to answer to the university and there would have been all sorts of problems. But uh, Robert Knox was just a free enterprise individual, you know, so he, he, operating at, he was operating out of old surgeon's hall and just using it as a base, you know, so he could do what he liked, you know. Anyway, so that's, uh, they've certainly sold it to Robert Knox. Okay.